When you look at the layers of a pre-trained network like AlexNet, you'll see that most of the layers are convolution, pooling, and rectified linear unit layers. These take the original input image and extract various features that can then be used for classification. Notice that the 23rd layer is a fully connected layer with 1,000 neurons. This takes the extracted features from the previous layers and maps them to the 1,000 output classes. Then the next layer, the softmax layer, turns the raw values for the 1,000 classes into normalized scores so that, roughly speaking, each value can be interpreted as the network's prediction of the probability that the image belongs to that class. The last layer then takes these probabilities and returns the most likely class as the network's output. When performing transfer learning, you typically change just these last few layers to suit your specific problem. In this way, the network you're starting with has the same feature extraction behavior as the pre-trained network, but hasn't yet been trained to map these features to image classes. When you train with new data, the network will learn that mapping as well as refine the feature extraction to be slightly more specific to your application.